the decision by US President Donald Trump to snap back sanctions against Iran had been largely criticized by many world leaders. This specifically at a time when Iran, as the relevant organizations repeatedly acknowledged, was doing its share of a nuclear deal that was meant to remove the same sanctions. The deal, the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action or the JCPOA, is on the verge of demise thanks to Trump's hostile rhetoric against the Islamic Republic. But Iranian officials are still hopeful to find a way with other signatories to keep it alive. This time around, Washington will find it hard to create a universal consensus to pressure Iran through sanctions. Because it is increasingly facing criticisms over what the world views as a policy of unilateralism pursued by President Trump. For sanctions to work, you have to have uh, the, your allies behind you. You have to have a, uh, a, a basis for negotiation. If, if the sanctions are like economic warfare, instead of attacking Iran directly, the U.S. is undermining its economy. So if it wants to have any positive outcome from sanctions, it must have a, a negotiating position. There is no negotiating position. Uh, it basically, uh, uh, Trump said we don't uh, approve of the of the uh, nuclear deal that was made under the previous president, Obama. So uh, he has no uh, alternative, and um, the allies, he has no allies. No other country is supporting these. These are unilateral sanctions. America's European allies have already indicated unwillingness to cooperate with the administration of President Trump in reimposing sanctions against Iran. With a lot already at stake, the EU wants to preserve the JCPOA to continue benefiting from maintaining economic ties with Iran. The last-minute delivery of planes by the Franco-Italian aviation giant ATR to Iran over the weekend was a clear sign how Europe is concerned about the returning sanctions against Iran. Europe has in fact already said it will find ways to preserve the JCPOA and find ways around the US sanctions against Iran. Nobody knows to what extent the EU will succeed over this, but one thing is already clear. Trump's anti-Iran rhetoric will damage Washington's ties with its European allies. Uh, it, it's uniting even Europe uh, against the US. Uh, it, it's, uh, I mean, there are many areas where the Europe and US should be in agreement and able to work together, but by, by taking this unilateral stance against Iran, it is undermining uh, the uh, ability of the United States to work uh, uh, on a, a normal basis with, with European countries. U.S. officials say the sanctions against Iran are meant to get a better deal with Iran that would restrict its overall weapons program, a deal which they say would also change Iran's policies in the region. But Iran has strongly defended its policies, which it says are focused on promoting regional stability. It also says it will not give up any part of its weapons program, which it says poses no threat to any country and is meant for defense purposes. It is rather the United States and its camp of anti-Iran adversaries that need to be pressured by the international community, countries like Saudi Arabia that have hostile regional policies and controversial weapons programs just like their American patrons.